I am Gregory and this is Pinsane. Yes. So I'm excited. I started a new currently inked notebook. Um, I pre-ordered this from the Paper Mind, the Cosmo Airlight Twin Ring Notebook. I'm very, very pleased with it so far. It's going to serve this purpose very, very well. So I highly recommend it. Be sure and check out thepapermind.com and uh, also the YouTube channel Blake's Broadcast. But that being said, uh, let's get to the currently inked pens for, uh, what month is it? April. <laughs> yes. So here we go. And I'm just going to breeze through these. This isn't going to be a real review or anything. We're just going to take quick, quick looks at what I have inked and the, the inks that are in them. First up, we have the Cross ATX Brushed Chrome with medium nib. And that is inked with Diamine Manbado's Hat, a nice deep purple. Then, this has been on my wish list for a very long time, and I finally got it at a really good price that I could not pass up. This is the Diplomat Aero Stripes Black with a broad nib. Ah, I love that. And this is inked up with Octopus Fluids Pebble Stone. Then we have another new addition to my collection. Um, the Fabricastel Grip. This is the Mint. With a medium nib. And this is inked with ST DuPont Spring Green. This next one is one you probably haven't heard of. It's basically a, a sadly it's it's a, a business that went out of business because the owner died. Um, this is going back some time now. Um, but this is Phil Cow, and this is the Phil Cow Egyptia in black, of course. And this has a medium nib. Gorgeous, gorgeous pen. And that is loaded with Kyoto Tag 3 Koke Iro. One of my favorite, favorite green inks. Uh, then we have a couple uh, Kaveco uh, Sports. This is a Kaveco Classic Sport in Bordeaux with a medium nib. And that is loaded with Diamine Syrah. Then, I'm not sure what happened on the, the O in Kaveco there, but uh, <laughs> nevertheless, it is a Kaveco Collection Sport in Iridescent Pearl. And I switched this to a 1.5 stub. And I'm still exploring stub nibs. So far, by far, Kaveco has the best stub nibs. So if you know a better brand for stub nibs, let me know in the comments. But so far, Kaveco has the best. And that is loaded with uh, Kaveco Royal Blue. Then we have a Twisby Wannabe, <laughs> the Mahjong T1 in Vintage Brass. I love that. And this is a, a medium nib.
And this is loaded with Krishna Candle Day. And we have this little guy from Monteverde, the mini jewelria, jewelria. Um, and this is in cobalt blue. Screws to post. And that has a medium nib. Uh, this is just loaded with Monteverde black. Very pleased to add this to my collection. A Monteverde Ritma in orange. I have most of the colors now. And this one has a fine nib. Which, spoiler alert, I was very impressed with. Very impressed. And that is loaded with Krishna Caramel. Then, I have a soft spot for the Parker IM. So this is the Parker IM Black. Um, my first fancy pen was uh, a ballpoint pen um, version of the Parker IM, uh, which I quickly swapped it out for a, a gel uh, refill, rollerball refill, um, which made it a much better pen. <laughs> um, but I I just love the, the classic look of this. You can't go wrong with that. And uh, so this is the Parker IM in black with the medium nib. And just loaded with one of the cartridges, cartridges that came with it, Parker Quink Blue. Then we have this little guy. Schaefer is another brand I'm very, very fond of. So this is the Schaefer Agio Compact in black. Has a medium nib. And it is just loaded with Schaefer Black. This is the only truly vintage, used, uh, restored pen in my collection. I did not restore it, but... <laughs> uh, so this is a Schaefer Craftsman Touchdown in burgundy. And this has a medium nib. And that is loaded with... Very fitting color, Monteverdi Cherry Danish. That's a perfect match for that pen. Of course, I had to have at least one Eco ink inked up. One of my all-time favorite pen, pen models. I just adore these. Uh, so this is, of course, the Twisby Eco Transparent Yellow. And this is a, a medium nib. And it's loaded up with what is, for now, my favorite black ink, which uh, conveniently is Twisby Black. And actually on the 4th, is that today? <laughs> on the 4th I added two more, yes, that was today. <laughs> on the 4th I added two more pens uh, to what was currently inked up. The first is another Phil Cowell. Uh, th <laughs> this literally just arrived today and I had to ink it up. So, you know, there's my excuse. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous pen. This is the Phil Cow Angel with Amber Pearl. And it's a medium nib. The nib is very similar to the Egyptia.
and I thought it was fitting to load that up with Diamine Sepia. And then the last one, another recent acquis acquisition, which honestly I'm slightly disappointed um, just because it reminds me of the modern day Parker Jodder with a nice metal cap and a plastic body. But nevertheless, you have something else that makes up for it. Um, so this is the Schaefer 440 Imperial Green with a medium nib. And you gotta love that nib design. I mean, look at that. Sadly, it lacks any kind of a snap. It's just friction fit. And that is loaded up with Montagrappa Harry Potter Slytherin Green. All right, well, there you go. That is my currently inked so far for April 2023. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time.